take us on that journey of 33. Like you walked away from, I'm assuming, a career you had, you know, committed some time to, but then you followed your heart, which mm. I don't know. I feel like it's a time in history where a lot of people are questioning what they're doing and their mm. happiness or their, their feeling a general kind of discontent. Mm. Um, and so I love to share stories of people that follow their heart mm. and kind of give up the comfort and the, the paycheck <laughs> to go explore and to seek um, answers that they're looking for. So just give us a little, how that journey start and some of the highlights? Yeah, it was, I mean, I had a great job. It was a great income. There was parts of me that did love it. I just knew there was more. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple of good mentors that said, you know, why don't you just stop? Go and find what you love. Go and find answers to your questions. You know, it's a perfect age to do it. You got some money behind you. Uh, but it still took like a lot of courage to actually pull the pin because that paycheck comes in every month and it's so comfortable to have that coming in and the months come around pretty quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I was reading several different books that were quite inspiring about how to, man how to manifest. And there's actually titles, a, titles. I need titles. Yeah, yeah. Well, one was uh, Think and Grow Rich, okay. which is amazing. Another yeah. one was The Secret. Another one was The Passion Test. Okay. Uh, and I was quite inspired by an Austrian scientist from last century called Victor Schulberger. Okay. He's known as the Water Wizard. So he's got four books. They actually weren't written by him, but they were written by somebody that spent some time with him. Um, and one of them is called the Water Wizard. And he was a really smart man that was like ducks in his high school. And his dad was like a professor. And his family was really excited what he was going to do with, you know, what he was going to do in college. Mm -hmm. And he actually just went out into nature for two years into the Austrian Alps and observed nature. And that was super inspiring for me. So, uh, yeah, I, I stopped everything went out to the center of Australia, spent three months out there initially. And then I guess in reflection, like at the time I didn't really know what I was doing, mm -hmm. uh, but at the time I was just kind of following a guidance and in reflection it was this divine unfoldment. Uh, but in amongst that I also did a Vipassana, which kind of accelerated my journey of meditation and that understanding of who we are developed more awareness in, in how to observe and how to detach from, you know, the emotions and um, I guess the person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then after that, I instinctively uh, started sun gazing. And that was probably the most powerful thing I've ever done. So where I live in the Sunshine Coast of Australia, we get about 300 sunny days a year. So it's very supportive for sun gazing, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon that first hour or last hour of the day. And yeah, that really transformed my way of thinking and my perception and made me realize that we're actually not separate from anything, actually. So it removes layers of fear. Mm. Uh, and as I said, it kind of really rewired my perception of, of who we are, um, which developed is just this really deep gratitude right like once we start actually figuring out the truth of who we are and realizing it's the greatest miracle we can ever uncover then that to me was um just a nice foundation to keep moving forward mm. and wow so the sun gazing <laughs> that's like something we, we haven't really covered in you know this healed journey which is so cool that you're bringing it up today and so i imagine <clears throat> You know the first hour and the last hour are the safe times to gaze at the sun mm -hmm. and you, does it just get you in such a meditative state that you just because it is kind of hypnotic looking mm -hmm. at sun's rays and the heat waves and all of that yes um, so do you just get sort of like is it like hallucinogenic is it just do you just get downloads because you're hypnotized in a way what, what would you say the sun gazing leads to? yeah the process i used was adding 10 seconds a day per day so I started at 10 seconds second day is 20 seconds third day is 30 seconds uh -huh. and if you do that for nine months weather dependent obviously so it might actually take you 12 months of adding you get up to 45 minutes so you don't necessarily notice too much in that first kind of five ten minutes 
and then things start happening. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and it and it's beautiful because you're not only getting those early morning uh, ultraviolet rays and the red light, but you're also developing a relationship with the sun. And the sun, I feel like most of us take it for granted, but it's actually the source of all life. Mm. It's the source of all light and life within the solar system. Plus the earth is following the sun around the universe in this perfect phi um, spiral and it's protecting us, right? Like it's putting out this big golden shower that's preventing a lot of things from crashing into us. So yeah, it's, I mean, light is actually what we are, even though there's a lot of other like interference layers and, and patterns. Uh, running and we're having this beautiful human experience which is duality so we get to experience it all but light is non-dual so it's actually where we come from and where we're returning to Mm. sounds a lot like source and spirit (laughs) totally totally and it's the greatest source of unconditional love we can ever experience right like it just shines light 24 Mm 7 doesn't care whether you're a good person a bad person it just shines lights and from a healing perspective once we're getting that light into the eyes it reprograms our entire physiology so there's a lot of people that have sun gazed for nine or twelve months that um, are are basically living off light they don't need food anymore so our body being the most advanced technology in the universe is actually clever enough that when our when the quotient of light inside of our body gets to a certain stage it totally transforms into a brand new species and can be self-sustainable wow yeah okay well i guess i I better start sun gazing (laughs) that's incredible i know you know circadian rhythms and getting that sunlight first thing in the morning is very helpful for melatonin production and all that Mm. but you just took it you know Mm. exponentially higher and deeper so mm. definitely going to try it but nine months it's such a commitment I mean to do it the 10 seconds every day like that's so precise but it's worth it yeah and it's just a, an approximation okay. um, but yeah the point is that you're building up slowly yeah. giving your eyes time to adjust oh. uh, and your eyes and your body tell you you know if you've got to back it off or if you can go further yeah. but once you get up to kind of 20-30 minutes that's when you know, you start communing with the sun. And probably the most profound experience I had doing that was it removed those layers of separation. Mm. And I realized that we are the sun and the sun is us. And there's no distance between us and the sun or anything. Yeah. It's all, everything that's out there is also with inside of us. Mm. So when you reach and reach those deeper layers of perception I guess it develops a deeper peace and and harmony um, which is a nice way to exist thank you for listening to the heal podcast be sure to tune in for more empowering wisdom and inspiring healing stories oh and make sure you hit the follow button on apple spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts so you don't miss that one episode that holds the answer you've been searching for and if you feel inspired we would love you to rate and review us so that we have the opportunity to reach more people and of course you can follow us on instagram for some behind the scenes fun and more inspiration at at heal documentary and at kelly Gorris. Thank you so much and be well.